Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. I am headed out in the woods to meet Kevin for one of the most unique prepper properties we've ever filmed. With that said, I'm gonna find him and he can tell you all about it. We got a special for you on this episode. Right here we're looking at uh, 70 acres that's getting turned into East Tennessee's first tiny home community. Uh, beautiful mountain views. Uh, the property is getting closed on today. The roads have started to get cut in. So we're getting ready to go 90 to nothing on this. So uh, we're going to walk around a little bit. Uh, and show you some of the features and go over a little bit of it and tell you all about it And uh, we'll probably wind up doing a part two maybe a part three later on down the road as this property gets developed and we start Start uh, adding some features to it. So let's go check it out okay. So you've got this flat area right there You're seeing now halfway up the mountain and then further down it flattens out again. So there's all these shelves everywhere Where you can put one two multiple tiny homes uh, Owner financing is possible uh, definitely owner financing is possible. You can buy one acre, five acres, three or four of you can get together, buy an acre or two. Uh, they're willing to put in a septic where each of you share part of the septic. Um, so very, very flexible uh, with what uh, we can do with this property. Uh, lots of good features. Multiple springs on the property. There's also spring rights to a, a large spring off the property that we can pull water from onto the property. Uh, great views, mountain views. There's going to be some property higher up uh, on the top of some of the ridges where you're just going to get stunning 360 mountain views of uh, the valleys here in East Tennessee. Um, you, there'll be some stuff down in the hollow if you want to be down and out of the weather a little bit more so. Uh, lots of options. So uh, we're really looking forward to getting this thing off the ground and, uh, and having some fun with it while we're at it. You can see this is a nice little bottom land down here, a couple acres worth. It's, it's real flat to mildly rolling. Makes some good pasture or, or some uh, really good tiny home sites down there for sure. So on top of uh, the features that's offered out here that Kevin just went over, I mean, you can go, if you wanna go off grid, um, we'd be more than glad to help out with that as well. There's a lot of opportunity for wind power at the top, which I think that'll probably be in the next video. You'll be able to get that in there and show them right. Yeah, probably we'll, we'll, be great we'll get cut. some panoramic views of the of the area. You'll see uh, some of the lots, what this lot will feature, that lot will feature, give you a sampling of, of what's out here. Cause there's a, a wide, we're talking 70 acres. So I mean, a property goes a half mile or, you know, a little less maybe that way, you know, plus it goes further back here to the ridge top here and out to the road over here. So um, just a, a diverse, uh, you know mixture of terrain um i noticed the road where that we came in on it's like really secluded guys like we can show you some footage later but not only on top of that you're way back in here like mm -hmm. i can't even see the road now we're so far gone back yeah. in the woods did you tell them about the community center yet yeah we're talking about putting a community center in and just some other uh nice features just to kind of help cement the community and make it have that community feel so um, you know, we're looking at different options, maybe putting in a, like a metal building where kind of possibly a community kitchen or something like that, maybe some solar power uh, so you can get some outlets in there and people can come in and can or dehydrate together, or, you know, um, just kind of get together and meet and shoot the breeze, picnics, things like that. Uh, possibly uh, maybe gun range, archery range, or uh, a little, little um, there's all kinds of flat spots and shelves, so we might uh, possibly clear one off or uh, maybe like, um, you know, for drones or your RVs or um, RCs, excuse me, not RVs, but yeah, uh, I got you. Yeah. But uh, you know, so you've got somewhere to kind of fly those around and, and play around with those. So just kind of you know, give that community feel, you know, just kind of tiny home style. I tell you, the potential's here. I mean, I'm blown away at how nice this, all the shelves. I've noticed, yeah. like all the shelves, it's already just like so readily available. It just don't need much more access just to get into it. And uh, no, there's uh there's going to be uh multiple ways in and out and all of them. I mean, this is off the beaten path yet. You're 30, 35 minutes from, you know, hospitals and shopping and stuff like that. So it's not so remote. Um, 
you know, but it, it's you're definitely off of the main roads, and it's it's nice and quiet back here. And and even the main road that all this is off of is really technically, in the whole scheme of things, not a main road. <laughs> right. So, yeah. You know, just some of the local people as they drive to and from work and that kind of a thing. So there's only a handful of you know people up and down this road anyway, as it is. So. No, last thing I'd like to ask, and I know a lot of people's got a question about is restrictions. What about restrictions? It's uh, not much in the way of restrictions. Um, uh, you know, we're kind of reviewing all that stuff now um, and, and looking into that. Um, you know, there might be uh, one or two small ones just to keep the area from getting junked up, but I mean, we, and we may not at all. You know, the, the idea is just to kind of sell the lots, whether you want a, a quarter acre, or a half acre, or an acre, or five acres. You know, we're kind of putting the infrastructure in, and then we're selling the property. And the, and the intent and the the, uh, the idea is, it's it's your property. Do what you want with it. Um, and that's one of the great areas, uh, great things about the area of Tennessee around here is um, restrictions are countywide or, or you know are, are very very minimal. So you know, it's um, you want to put a pond in, you put a pond in. You want to you know put a barn up, you put a barn up. You know, it's no no environmental impact studies or any of that stuff. Right. You know, it's, uh, it's, uh, no, it's bureaucracy. Yeah, exactly. So it's, you know, it's laid back East Tennessee living, you know, typical stuff that we all know and love, you know, so it's do what you want. Well, guys, if you want to check out this property and this community coming up, information's in the video description below. There'll be a lot of information over at your website as well. Absolutely. And until we see you again here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua and I.